Welcome to your inspirational astrology horoscope for Monday, January 20th, 2014. I am astrologer David Palmer, the Leo King, here to illuminate the collective consciousness. The sun has now moved into Aquarius electricity, fixed energy. This is a lot of energy to hold on to now, which is our unique story, our individualism, the excitement of what makes us so special and unique. Aquarius and Leo, which are opposite signs, represent the individual spark, the fire, the air, the intellectual energy, the connection to our soul and what it embodies and why we're here. What makes us so special? What makes us so unique? And it is now with the sun moving into Aquarius that adds to a special electricity to this unique story that is changing in all of our lives. Venus retrograde happening in Capricorn, adding the sun into Aquarius sparks up this unique story, especially as we have Venus starting to oppose Jupiter and coming closer to Pluto. The story is getting more intense now and new directions changing and value systems, relationships that are coming our way and us starting to get closer and closer and closer to a change in the, in the destiny of all of our lives. Pluto is doing everything it can to invest and to uncover these deep and intense roads in all of our life, ones that we really want to accomplish. And with this electricity that comes in, there's an aha that starts to build. Look at this, look at that. See every little corner that you haven't seen before. And I think it's important for you to, to today really look at every little corner because the moon's still in Virgo. Really adds to the story, especially as it's trining up to Venus and to the sun that has now entered into Aquarius. Today is one of those days where there's a lot of positive energy going around. The one area that I think could be, you know, hard on people is if they're not willing to, you know, rise above, I think. A lot of this energy wants to rise above you might want to detach from bad energy if you can. Not let every little nook and cranny get to you. You know, a moon in Virgo can really get embedded so much in everything. And this Aquarius energy wants to say, F that and screw you, I'm out of here. You know, it wants to let go, it wants to release, it wants to detach, it wants to fly away to another universe. And I think, not saying that it don't fly away to another universe and forget about your life, but you know what? If it's not serving your life anymore, today's the day to detach from it. Today's a wonderful day to reorganize your life though, based off the new directions that I feel the winds are pulling us all in relationships and in what we're starting to value. As I feel like we're getting closer and closer to, to understanding what the last, you know, karmic story that has been building here of the last month is all about. I'm sure you've been feeling as we stepped into the new year, a really excitement, a powerful new direction that's forming. And it is this week where we start to understand more of that as we start to get the ahas, as we start to figure out this whole picture. And that's really what Aquarius is, the big picture and how it all comes together. But it also is the uniqueness in the one. Sure, the universe and God to me is one, but it's the individual energies of us all that combine to make the one. And without you knowing your individual energy, it, it really makes it hard to come into the one because every piece that come into the one is its own unique puzzle piece. And this is about you starting to figure out why your unique puzzle piece is so different. A good example of Aquarius that I always tell people wanting to learn astrology is, Yes, it is about people, connections. So of course we can highlight those in this kind of a horoscope, but I really like to focus on the embodying of how to really use this energy for your own spiritual advancement and growth in your life and how to understand where the cosmos are turning. But yes, this deals with humanity, people, groups, and I think it's important in your life to pay attention to these spots and what areas is your destiny forming with certain groups of people, certain friendships. But I think it goes deeper into seeing that Aquarius deals with trends. It deals with what's unique, new, and powerful. So usually we see a cool new pair of sunglasses and we relate, relate cool with Aquarius, especially because Aquarius is cold, right? You're honest. But it's Aquarius that is about the trends, the differences, and doing something that's status quo and different and leaving that. Now it's cool for a minute when it comes out. When a new sunglass comes out, you know, no new sunglasses, like I want those, I want those. But the second that, you know, 45 million people buy it, it's not cool anymore. It's trendy and nobody wants it anymore. So Aquarius deals with making sure that we find our uniqueness and that we separate from the one, even though we're connecting with the one, if that makes sense. That we need to find what, embody, what embodies us so uniquely. And this is a powerful week where Pluto is gonna come to 12 degrees Capricorn. We haven't seen Pluto come deep this far since the 1700s. So this is gonna be a week that pushes us spiritually 
and a new evolution that we haven't seen in our whole lives as yes I feel we've been growing but Pluto you know has been here at 11 degrees since April of you know 20, 2013 so we really haven't gone deeper down the rabbit hole since then and this will be a week where you start to go deeper into your life start to understand more and start to unveil what this new story that's starting to paint in our lives especially around relationships as Venus opposing Jupiter is starting to open up really powerful doors and as Pluto's getting closer to a conjunction with Venus I think this is gonna really uncover something special and very intense and hold on to your safety belts everybody we got Mars which is coming you know out of a, a, a cardinal cross and finally gonna start getting closer to the north node here which means actions and 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 there's this powerful thing brewing here in the next month around directions new directions being formed but remember Mars goes retrograde March 1st so this is gonna be one of those months where the universe is gonna do a lot of changes a lot of new directions and then they will all be tested and all be you know guided to really go in a powerful place that we we couldn't even imagine right now only your intuition can start to build this story but our reality is starting to uncover what this imagination in all of our lives is all about so it's a very exciting day because you're gonna feel the new energy come in and I think it's important for us to to really start to get excited about these stories in our lives. Check out my website, inclusiveastrology.com, if you have any questions or if you want to have a one-on-one reading. Thank you for all of your support, and I will see you tomorrow.